Okay. <clears throat> Question 11. Which alkene would you expect to be the major product from the following dehydration from the following dehydration. So here we have <clears throat> this molecule, it's an alcohol, right? And we're treating it with H2SO4 with heat. So I guess they're trying to favor an, <clears throat> an E1 elimination. Um, yes, an E1 elimination. So concentrated H2SO4 after protonation so the H2SO4 is going to protonate this alcohol right here has a weak because this is a strong acid after it protonate, protonates and it loses its hydrogen it becomes a weak conjugate base <clears throat> I'm speculating here perhaps too weak to pluck off an alpha hydrogen an alpha hydrogen so this is the alcohol that it protonates an alpha hydrogen would be this would be an alpha hydrogen next door a next door hydrogen it would, it's too weak to pluck off an alpha hydrogen and create an E2 mechanism so that's why it's not E2. Instead, protonate, protonated, the protonated hydroxyl group departs, creating a carbocation. Then HSO4 negative, which is the conjugate base of H2SO4, removes hydrogen. So here's our molecule. Plus our acid. So the hydrogen the hydroxyl group picks up the highly acidic hydrogen from the H2SO4 and we're left with a protonated alcohol group here plus and this is a positive charge plus HSO4 negative so what happens is this was a hydrogen on here. It, it, um, this, the positive OH2 group departs as water, right? And we still have the HSO4 negative hanging around. And then what happens is we get a second degree carbocation after the, um, after after the um, water leaves, we get a second degree carbocation. This is one carbon attached to two carbons. So <clears throat> in order to make that more stable, we get a methanide shift. This methyl group right here shifts over here. And we get, this becomes a tertiary carbon over here where the methanide group came from 
where it's shifted from becomes a, a tertiary carbon and um Blah, blah. Becomes right, and then okay, this this is a hydrogen right here. So then, now that we get this, I'm supposing at this point, the conjugate base of um, sulfuric acid is strong enough to remove this alpha hydrogen, which gives its two bonds here to form a double bond, and that reaction gives us this alkene which was one of the choices